Hey guys, what's up? It's Exuperist here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 5 of Oregairu. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. <laughs> エリート思考の強い俺は今から重役になったと。<笑> <laughs> yeah, that's what you get for trying to weasel your way out of, you know, hardiness and or, or anything else. That... She basically just owned up to his mistake and said sorry and say that you're not going to do it again, right? シバケ <laughs> <笑>何様やっぱ誘ってない人来ちゃったみたいな顔。<笑><笑> That's a boy, though. <laughs> no, he really is a guy. Made probably. <laughs> oh, the younger, the younger brother of that other girl. Mm, okay. <laughs> Everything is because of Hachiman. <笑>俺は病原菌なの。そんなこと言ってないわ。被害妄想が過ぎるんじゃない。被害焼き。言ってるから。金と超言ってるから。神田だけよ。生きがやきんだ。ダッチ。今ゴリを捨てました。被害
but also you need somebody else to kind of point it out sometimes even though you know you may have you may be having issues sometimes you probably don't want to you don't feel motivated to specifically to resolve the issue so i think some kind of outside support or encouragement might be needed or at the very least some kind of um, somebody to hear her out perhaps maybe there's something that she has on her mind that she can't really tell other people something that's bothering her something that's burdening her so we can't really completely say that you know these are just family issues as well we don't know we don't know exactly what her issues are so l let's try to figure it out I don't think that's it. I don't get this strategy at all. I don't think it's gonna work. But I am interested in what's going on with Saki. I think Yukin just wanted <laughs> to interact with the cat herself. There we go. There's that. Well, they do have the counselor, right? Oh, there we go. Her. Okay, so she does, but... <laughs> Found her weakness. <laughs> That's not how things go. Getting a boyfriend? Isn't he with that other girl though? What was her name? Yumiko? That's not gonna work on her, I think. <laughs> his, his charm doesn't really work on everybody, I think. Yeah, you did. You got rejected, bruh. <laughs> I like I like Hayato though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's doing some kind of part time job. A maid cafe. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Why? Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's also doing. <laughs> oh. 
What? Okay, my gosh, his fantasies are out of this world. Is that Hachima? He looks like a Yakuza. <laughs> oh, she works as a bartender. Okay, it makes sense now, I think, what, why she, why she's probably doing this kind of part-time job, because she's the eldest, her parents are always working, and she has three younger siblings, so I guess it falls on her to kind of augment her family's needs. It sounds, it sounds weird, especially since both her parents are actually working, but maybe... In her mind, uh, she she needs to help out with her family's situation. I don't know. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure high school students can work. Um, but I'm not sure how the whole process works back. I mean, there in Japan. Oh, oh お申し訳ございません。どちら様でしたでしょうか。同じクラスなのに顔も覚えられてないとは、さすが引きがよくね。気にした。どうも。ゆいが。じゃあ彼も総務校の人。おう。で、何しに来たわけ?まさかそんな
学費が必要なのは弟さんだけではないものねうちは進学校だから高2になると進学を意識するやつも少なくないし夏季講習とか真剣に考え始めるあ姉ちゃんだからあんたは知らなくていいって言ったじゃん私大学行くつもりだしそのことで親にも大使にも迷惑かけないから、mm. Wait a minute. Okay, that actually gives a little bit more depth into Hachiman, although we never really got this information before. But now we know he. Well, we already know this before. Hachiman actually does care for other people. It's just th his attitude is just very offensive to some or to all. <laughs> But anyway, he does have a heart for. Of compassion for others. So that's really something good about him. He's just very cyn too cynical for my taste. And he's acting too much of the contrarian with everyone, which uh, it doesn't really curry you any favors with anyone either. I mean, I, I, that's not really a, an attractive trait, even for a friend. Like, nobody, nobody would really. Stick with you till the end if you're like that, because it's, it's gonna be so exhausting. If he just kind of really t tones it down by a lot and only do it, I mean, if he's more pragmatic like Yukino instead of just completely cynical and jaded, then he'll be a more interesting character because at this point he's just the, the negative Nancy. So, and, and, and I'm getting a bit tired of it as well. I mean, yeah. Oh, okay, so the workplace visits are just going to be like a montage instead of uh, like a, 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 a scene. That's one way of looking at it, but I don't think she's doing it for that either. Yeah, he said something a bit harsh there. Yeah. 
だが知っているそれが優しさだということ No, but the thing is, based on everything that we as the audience have seen so far, we know that Yui actually likes Hachiman. It's not, I mean, I, I get it from his perspective. He might, and especially with his previous experiences,、uh, you know, with past confessions, past rejections. I understand why he's being very overly cautious and cynical about the way he looks at these things and the way that he interprets other people's actions. So he's just, it's basically his defense mechanism. But I don't think it's really right to do that. To assume that, you know, to, yeah, just to assume、uh, what other people's intentions are without actually confronting them about it. Because that's just going to lead up to a lot of confusion, misunderstandings, and、uh, resentment. I don't know, maybe Hachiman just needs to be a little bit more open. And a little nicer to other people as well. And to himself as well. I mean, being cautious is okay. But being like this is just too much, I think. Seriously, does he just want to go against the world or something? I don't think he has the qualities for, for that, to be like a, the, the anti hero. Right? But anyway. Mm, let's get on with it. Let, let, let's get back to the show. I think he's just being cautious about. Okay, I see where he's coming from now. Alright, so that episode was a lot more insightful. And I mean, it's setting up the next episode as well. But yeah,、uh, as I've criticized Hachiman for his overly cynical attitude, instead of just being a little bit more practical, and I get where he's coming from. His past experiences have caused trauma for him, have probably hurt him, and he just wants to avoid that. I, I get that. But at the same time, I think he brought it to the opposite extreme. s He was just way too、uh, suspicious. Of everybody and just doesn't want to have anything to do with anyone at all. He's basically avoiding everyone、uh, out of his own volition because he doesn't want to get hurt anymore. But that's not how you live life. It's just, it's just the path to self destruction. And I don't like it. I don't like the, the path that Hachiman is taking at the moment. It's self preservation to the max. To the point that you're, you're almost wanting to become like a hermit. And, and it's not because you just want to live the, the solitary life, it's because you resent the world. You've turned your back against the whole world, against everybody, even though there are people out there who may have pure intentions, who actually want to connect with you, like Saika, like、uh, Hayato. Hayato is actually a nice guy, despite him being part of the popular kids, he's not really. Uh, pretentious at all. And Yui, so apparently they have that story, that backstory. So that's why he, he Hachiman actually thinks she's doing, she's being nice to him because of that, because of that debt that she owes him or something. But that's not, a, I mean, from what I can see, it's not her motivation at all. I think Hachiman has just taken everything to the extreme. He's adding meaning or he's interpreting everything on a very narrow lens. And that's not just hurting him, but it's hurting other people around him, even though he's trying to distance himself from them.、Uh, hopefully, he changes that. It's understandable because it was a traumatic experience for him. He's gotten hurt maybe several times over. But he needs to begin the process of healing from that and. Trying to change. 
You can't do that all alone. You need other people. And he does have other people who actually are genuinely interested in being friends with him. Like, as I said, those two guys and then Yui and Yukino. Although Yukino is a little bit more venomous than the others. I, I do hope that Hachiman would open himself up to all of these new ex experiences, uh, opportunities, possibilities, and stop being too much of a misanthrope and a cynic and almost to the it's almost like he's a little bit like a nihilist as well but i'm but yeah anyway thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one thank you guys for watching until the end of this video click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content see you in the next one